he is the number one contender for the Explosive Pro Wrestling Championship, the Fremantle Alpha, Taylor King. And the dub machine is all fired up, Wally. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, as Taylor King makes his way to the cage, the time is now! For your hell or high water main event, this is a steel cage match for the BW Championship! The only way to win this match is to escape the cage and have both feet touch the ground. Taylor King, pumped before the show started, he got to watch the women's soccer team, the Matildas, make it into the next stage of the World Cup. And Taylor King hopefully follows in their footsteps here tonight, getting the big win, and finally, through all the adversity he has faced. You also big, want to talk cup. about big wings, Wally. Don't forget that uh, Taylor King's beloved Fremantle Dockers just rolled. The West Coast Eagles by 101 points. I was trying to avoid that. I didn't want to bore the fans, but back to the point at hand, the important stuff. This is the moment. Honest, this might be the last moment, the last opportunity that Taylor King gets against the Don to become the next EPW champion. Yeah, he is the EPW champion. Joined as always by Chris J. Lazarus. Of course, they tried to dodge this bullet of this matchup. They wanted no part of the steel cage matchup here tonight. But Devlin Reeves gave them the chance. They can either have this match or they can be stripped of the title. And here we are. Of course, at our last show, our massive show, Evolution. The main event was the Don versus Taylor King. Taylor King got the win. But it was by disqualification. Of course, that means that the championship does not change hands. And that has led us to this right here. That's what they call the champion's advantage, Mean Dean. And the Don took the advantage. And he is still EPW champion. A man that does anything he has to to get the job done. But what will it take here tonight to get the win inside the steel cage? against the dumb machine, the Fremantle Alpha, Taylor King. It's a big fight field. It certainly is, and with good reason. Both of these men have had many matchups throughout their storied careers in Explosive Pro Wrestling. They have not had a matchup like this inside a steel cage where they must escape and have both feet touch the floor to be the EPW champion. This is an environment like no other. And Wally, I'll be picking your brain periodically throughout this matchup because you are the pioneer of this very matchup in Explosive Pro Wrestling. You're a part of the very first steel cage matchup that this company ever had many years ago. What year was that? 2005, back in the day, black and white TV. Uh, yeah, look, uh, you want to say, oh yeah, I was lucky to be in the first ever EP. Oh, never mind me, Taylor King. Drop sliding, drop kicking the cage door into the face of the Don. Jones good getting the hell out of Dodge. What can you do to prepare for a matchup like this, Wally? Uh, go down to your local park, put your head against the cricket nets and just rail it back and forth until blood starts pouring out your forehead. There's nothing you can do, Mean Dean. There's nothing, I mean, look at it. Look at the sadistic structure that is the steel cage. There's no amount of training at the factory at the EPW School of Pro Wrestling that you can do to prepare for something like this. Now, I wasn't present for your matchup in 2005. Did you get the win? I did. Oh, okay. Yeah. But look, I was about to say, oh. Ooh. See, that is perfectly legal. Yeah, look, it's officially underway. The wrestling action doesn't disappear just because the cage is there. You still, 
you still got to wrestle the match, you still got to use your environment, the ring ropes, the canvas, use your low blows or whatever, because the rules are off, there's no rules. It's first man to touch the floor, but the problem is it's a steel cage. There's just no way to prepare for it. Given the double bird. I mean, they were just calling him a pussy earlier. Yeah. Taylor King worse than wear already. Don pointing to, is he going to throw Taylor King? Ooh, Taylor King locks it just in time. Nice elbow there. First EPW cage match took place in 2005. That was the year that the Don Michael Morleone debuted in EPW. Taylor King, he of course debuted in 2014, many years after. Oh, nobody home. For that second European up yeah. Don moves out the way. Float over by Taylor King. Ducks under the clothesline and follows it up with that European uppercut. Lovely. With Don knocked off his feet. Of course, the Don, he became the uh, unified EPW champion back oh, in God. March at Gold Rush when he did throw Julian Ward. Sorry to cut you off there, Mean Dean. The Don head first into the cage. And that's the thing. You can game plan all you want, but as soon as you touch that steel, as soon as your head goes crashing into the steel, like the Don's did there, the game plan goes out the window. Like you said, how do you train? The hard steel grinding your face. And the Don again. You know what I mean? The best part for Taylor King, that what the steel cage is really all about, is CJL can yell and scream from the outside, but he can't get involved. Well, that's the thing, it's, it's, it's keeping the combatants inside the squared circle and all remaining elements on the outside. Definitely that plays into the favour for Taylor King. Right now, Feynman's carry just oh. launches Don into the cage again. Taylor King urging the EPW uh, faithful to get behind him, as always. A little bit down the road from Fremantle here. The smell is still here, but... Uh, Turn it up, Wally. Nonetheless, Taylor King, though, building up ahead of steam. Launches into the Don as well. We've seen some amazing cage matches throughout the history of Explosive Pro Wrestling. Of course, the main event of Reawakening 7, we saw Bobby Marshall, Richter, and Davis Storm have a crazy cage match. Don Luckery getting out of the way as Taylor King goes crashing into the side of the steel cage. The Don would have been crushed against the side there. Looks like the steel cage is taking a piece out of the Don's forehead. Wouldn't take long with all the offense that Taylor King action towards the Don's head and that steel. I mean, it's like a cheese grater, honestly. That's what it feels like. When you get your head, I had my head dragged across that steel cage by Tyler Jacobs, and it honestly feels like there's a cheese grater just tearing away at your skin. I mean, I've been in them all. I've been in a chain match, Julian Creek, Gauntlet, Rumble, Tag Team, Four Way, 60 Man Battle Royal. But there's nothing you can do to prepare for this. And it takes a part of you as well. These two men will never be the same from this match. Look at, I mean, it's sadistic. Look at it. Just grinding the face of Taylor King. It was the Don. And CJ Eldo on the outside, just yelling and screaming in the face of Taylor King, just getting under his skin even more so. That's all he can do. He's locked on the outside. As long as Taylor King can shut him out, he'll play no part in this match. Oh. Got to pull out all the stops in these matchups. Like you said, it's a different environment. Don's climbing the cage. Is he going to try and hop over the top of the cage already? Well, you get it done. Not here for a good time or a long time, hopefully. Get in and get out. Spine <laughs> busted there by the Don. You can see instinctively he rolled over, went for that cover, but no pinfalls here. That's right, there's no referee on the inside of the ring. Pinfall submissions do not count. The only way to win and the only way to leave as champion is to escape the cage and have both of your feet touch the floor. 
Don struggling to get up there. I mean, this cage has seen some battles over the years and it itself is a little bit worse for wear. Two men struggling to climb up it, trading shots on that top rope. Just chopping the crap out of each other. Look at the flex in that top rope as these two boys stand atop of it. Taylor King getting the better of the Don. He's going to climb, but I think he's got a different idea at the moment. Saw that the Don was on his feet. What's he going to do? Oh! Diving top rope. European uppercut from Taylor King. I think Taylor King still thinks he's on his European adventure with all these European uppercuts. If something works well, you may as well keep using it. He's knocked the Don to his feet once again. Throwing up the horns. A tribute to another man on an adventure. That's right. Lord. That's the clothesline. And oh, both men with the same idea. Lariat's in stereo and they both go down. Love a good double clothesline, Mean Dean. It's like a level playing field. Everything that comes before it is disappear and we start all over again. Now, of course, two men absolutely exhausted, struggling to get to their feet. Trading punches on the floor here. You leave nothing behind in a matchup like this. It is all about the Explosive Pro Wrestling Championship. CJL, he made the claim earlier on this evening that as long as the championship is around the waist of the Don, that CJL runs the show. why they did everything in their power to make sure this match didn't go ahead. The only thanks way out of it was if he forfeited the title lane. We're going to have that. And thanks to Devil and Reeves for making sure this happened. As a, as a wrestling fan, we desperately wanted to see this group of Did we ever? So did this massive crowd in attendance. Taylor King getting the upper hand here. Delivering furious elbows to the head of the Don. Don't be home on that one. Like Don's got Taylor up. Is he, is he going for an achy breaking neck? Or do use Taylor's oh. finisher against him? Has anyone ever used Taylor's finisher against him before? Not from my knowledge. Like all that punishment dished out on the Don. Yes, he hit Taylor King's finisher on him, but. Gotta make it count. Oh, man. So, so exhausted already. Don, of course, is a former. Oh, Don was ready to go, but Taylor's got hold of his leg. As I said, Don's a three-time EPW champion, whereas Taylor King's a former Coastal champion and tag champion. Never won the big EPW championship before. Tonight could be his night, but the Don is not going to make it easy by any stretch of the imagination. He's just playing into the Frio Alpha. He's had his opportunities, though. I mean, we saw Taylor King. At the last show, he had his opportunity, and yes, okay, may not have been the way it, uh, he wanted it to go. But I, I don't think he's going to get more opportunities than this. This might be his last opportunity. Taylor King just nailed the Don with a choke bomb. He used the Don's finisher against him right, now. Each other's finishes. Very an interesting tactic. Almost a one-upmanship. I mean, you do make a good point. He won by a disqualification. They're having the matchup in the cage match. If, if Taylor can't get the win here this evening, I don't know when his next chance could be. CJL, though, he's locking the gate. I mean, EPW management are only going to give you so many chances before the next person in line gets their opportunity at the EPW Championship. There are so many people in the EPW locker room always keen to get a shot at the EPW Championship. They might be facing Taylor King. If he keeps going, he's oh, on he's top up. of the cage. He's, ha he's halfway over the top of the cage. CJL shaking. Oh, Taylor King just got pulled on the top of the cage. That one, oh, you better believe, is going to hurt. Oh, yeah. I do remember that feeling. I uh, was trying to get out of the cage in my cage match. 
and Tyler Jenkins kick the door open and went crashing nuts first onto the top of the door. Don now has Taylor King up. Oh my god! Superplex from the top of the cage! You gotta be kidding me, Wally! What is it gonna take? I'm almost. I mean, the action has just been non stop. These two men have absolutely battered each other here tonight. The Don pleading with CJR, wondering what is it gonna take? Why won't this man stay down? Asking CJR to help, but he can't help. He's locked outside. Oh, wait, he's calling. He's calling for a. Is that a wrench? Kidding me? Oh, something must be wrong with the cage. He's obviously trying to fix it. I think something's wrong with the ring. They might have knocked something loose. Swings with the wrench. Oh, just nail Taylor King. We mentioned before that the rules are quite lacking in a matchup like this. There's no rules. They're not lacking. No rules. So smacking someone in the mouth with a wrench. Good. It's all fair game, even though... I mean, you can't stop your opponent from climbing out of the cage if you've been knocked unconscious by a spanner. How is Taylor King still moving? Your guess is as good as mine. It speaks wonders for the heart and the tenacity of Taylor King. The fact that he wants to be EPW champion so bad. What is the dog doing? Is he going to undo the ring rope? Don't fix in the ring. Back on. Fixing it or is he undoing it? What the hell is going on? A man of many talents. A man of vicious intent is what I'd say, Wally. The Don has something crazy in mind here. The referees can't do anything about it. How can they? They're on the other side of the ring. It's all absolutely 100% legal. I mean, he doesn't even need to hug. All above board in a cage match. This is unlike anything I've seen before. The Don is going to undo this bottom turnbuckle, undo the ring rope. I don't know. You probably, you probably set up a ring a lot more than I have, Wally. Does that ruin the, the structural integrity of the ring? It's definitely not good for it. What's he going to do? Is he going to hit him with the turnbuckle? Oh, oh my goodness! Jesus! I thought he was going to use the rope to choke him, but instead he just took that turnbuckle and used it as a bloody weapon! This is ridiculous. This is what these two men signed up for, look. The dog gave Taylor King the out. He said, I don't want to do this, and Taylor King could have walked away. So Taylor King is almost, you could say, bought it upon himself. Oh, turn it up, Wally. Taylor King wants to be the EPW champion. He wasn't expecting for like bloody metal objects to be thrown into his face here. Well, he's been surrounded by a steel cage, so I don't know what he was expecting. Oh, goodness. Taylor King looks to be busted open. Well, that's no surprise after getting a dog choking. Exactly oh, like you no. said, choking him with that ring rope, using every that's the thing, Taylor King, he's busted open and bleeding. The Don is going to choke the breath out of him. If he can put Taylor King out cold, he'll have an easy way to escape the cage. I mean, as we said, the Don does everything he needs to to get the job done. That is his motto, to stay champion. And he's showing it here tonight by using every part of the ring. Absolutely out of control, Wally, to, to, to extents that even I was not expecting. And I've seen some things in all my years. Yeah, I've, built, I've been in a cage that but this is not what I was expecting either. Man, Don's just he's taking the, the canvas off the ring. What the hell? <laughs> Scrambling to get away from Taylor King, ripping the EPW ring canvas. The ring is getting dismantled. As this match is going, what on earth? Meow. 
Bradlett and Don know what they think of him. Taylor King's a bloody mess, but he is not deterred. He wants to be the EPW champion. And here he is now letting the Don have it. been dismantled, the steel cage stands high, the EPW Championship hangs in the balance, Taylor King's got him up, oh, and due to the ring rope being removed, it looks like the, the, the ring itself is becoming a bottle. this is insane. He's removing the... Oh, what the hell? Surely not. He's exposing the boards of the ring. These guys are taking this to another level. The boards of the ring are now unprotected. Taylor King has some vicious things in mind. What the hell is going on? I, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, a cage match is unpredictable at the best of times, but this is insanity. Taylor King looks like he wants to finish off the Don and become the EPW champion. Is he going to do an achy breaking neck on the exposed boards? Exposed boards. Oh, Death Valley Driver on the exposed boards. That's it. The Don has got to get out of the ring. Wow, Taylor King has knocked him down here. Is there a point where the referees have to intervene here? I hope not. I get that cage yeah. matches are dangerous, but the, the, the structural integrity of the ring has been compromised. There's nothing but boards and steel on one side of the ring. Like, these men's lives are in danger. This is what they signed up for. This is what it means no, to be This is what they EPW signed up for. Champion. They signed up for a steel cage wrestling match. Not bloody. I, they what signed this up is. for a wrestling match without any rules, surrounded by a steel cage. This is what they signed up for. Okay, maybe we didn't expect it to get this far. To be fair, it might not go much longer as the Don getting close to climbing out. Taylor King putting a stop to the Fremantle Alpha. This is his time. This is his chance to become the EPW champion. One of these men must escape the cage to lead with the championship. Who knows what the hell it'll take after what we've seen here so far. Two men teetering on that top rope. Trading big blows. Down to his feet, the Don almost over. What is it going to take to oh, walk away with no. the EPW Championship? What is going on here? You've got to be kidding me. Maybe the referee needs to call this off. Is he going to do an achy breaking neck off the top onto the exposed boards? You've... No. No. No! Holy shit! Holy shit! What the hell has just happened? They've gone through the ring! The ring! has just absolutely exploded! An achy breaking neck off the bloody ropes through the ring! I mean, what, what have we just witnessed? We've witnessed absolute demolition of the explosive pro wrestling ring and hopefully the competitors in this match are, are alive! Oh Taylor King! God. Like a phoenix from the ashes, this is ridiculous. Taylor King, I wouldn't say to his feet, as good as can be. CJL, on the other, wait, has he got, CJL's cutting open the cage by the looks of things here. Taylor King's in a lot of pain. CJL's trying to tear open the steel.
Trying to climb. Wait, CJL, he's got the feet of the dog. He's put the feet down. He's put the feet down. CJL cut open the steel cage and put the Don's feet on the ground before Taylor King could. Referee Maston saw it, he called for the bell. Matthew Clark, on the other hand, is not too sure. I mean, does one overall the other? I'm not sure. Who walks away here? This As is... The champion. Rick, this is... This is unlike anything I've seen before. In all my 16 years of calling professional wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, here's your winner. And still, EPW champion, the Don Michael Moyone. CJL cut open the cage at the bottom corner. Hopefully the cameras caught that. He pulled out the Don's feet and put them on the floor before Taylor King could exit the cage. I mean, this company has stood for nearly 25 years and we have never, ever seen anything like what we just witnessed here. This was historic in so many ways. But it is the Don Michael Morleone who has retained his EPW Championship and is the winner of this cage match that no one who has ever witnessed what we just saw will soon forget. Taylor King did something I've never seen in all my time. He can hold his head high, but he will not be EPW Champion. No, not here tonight. It was all above board. They played, they were in the rules. And yeah, you might say that Taylor King got screwed, but the Don played the game and he is still the EPW champion. But maybe more importantly, what does this mean for Taylor King now? Where does he go from here? I have With no the idea. assistance of Where's CJL, the Don Oh, he's got CJL. The man who cost him the EPW championship. I was about to wrap things up, but Oh, Taylor King, he is pissed off, and rightfully so. The ring's missing a rope, it's bloody broken in pieces. He's trying to get out from the hole that he created earlier, but he's not getting away from Taylor King. And Taylor King is about to take out all his frustrations. Oh, CJL, as his bald head goes crashing into that's unforgiving. She sprayed a like slide of the EPW steel cage. We saw an achy breaking neck off the top rope from the steel cage through the bloody ring. Taylor King did all he could to win this matchup. It is such a shame he could not do it. If it wasn't for CJL cutting a hole in the cage, Taylor King would be champion. But that was not the case. My friends, I'm almost lost for words, it's but been unbelievable. it has been one we'll never soon forget. He doesn't leave the EPW champion tonight, but he put up a hell of a it fight. It was huge, put it your was hands historic. Together. It was unforgettable. Alpha, Our next show will be EPW's Vendetta. On behalf of Drake Wallace, myself, Dean Olsen, on behalf of all of Explosive Pro Wrestling, we'd like to thank you for joining us here for Hell or High Water. Stay tuned to our YouTube channel and all forms of social media. We'll catch you next time.